My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of The Last of Us Part 1. Now this is a review for the PS5 Remake. If you want to know my spoiler free and spoiler filled thoughts on this game, then I've already done videos a couple months ago. But if you don't know, I absolutely love The Last of Us. The Last of Us is my stars. Like, this is easily my favorite franchise. The first game is a masterpiece with a great story and great characters, but the second game takes everything that I love about the first game and it enhances it in every single way, and it's just my favorite story ever. And I think it's rather fitting that when The Last of Us Part 2 came out, I only had a PlayStation 3, so I went out and bought a PlayStation 4 so I could play Last of Us Part 2. And when I heard they were doing a remake of the first game on PlayStation 5, I went out and bought a PlayStation 5, got it rather fast actually, which was shocking, and I got this game mainly, you know, like, so I mainly got the PlayStation 5 for this game, but, like, this is just my favorite franchise, and I was super excited for it, and it's a shame that everything of Naughty Dog seemed to be getting leaked these days, because people already go in with these preconceived notions, and I just don't think it's fair to the people who spent so much time on it. So after playing it, do I think that it's worth a buy? Absolutely. Like, here's the way I'm going to say it. If you have never played The Last of Us before, this is the way to play it for the first time. If you've played The Last of Us before and you're excited about a remake, then go out and buy it. I'm sure you'll love it as much as I did. But if you heard about the remake and you're just like, it's a glorified remaster, I have zero interest, Naughty Dog is stupid and they're just trying to take our money, then I'm going to stop you right there. You've already made up your mind. Don't go buy this. But if you play it with an open mind, I think all the changes they made to it are more than worth it. Like, the character design alone just makes for the performances to come through in a much more effective manner, and it enhances so many scenes. Like, especially the very last scene of the game where Ellie's just like, swear to me, swear to me that everything you told me about the fireflies is true. And Joel's just like, I swear. And she's like, okay. The performances make an already perfect ending even better. In Tess's death scene, you know, I've played this game plenty of times, and there are moments that have always choked me up, but Tess's death was never one of them, but the emotions just come through in a much more effective manner there, and it got to me this time. I also think it really works for Joel's character design, because you play the first section as Sarah, his daughter, and you see Joel, and he looks like a guy maybe in his late 20s, early 30s, and then when you get the 20 year time jump, he looks like he's aged 20 years. He looks like a more older, guff gruffled up man. So you actually feel like his exhaustion, that he's gone through plenty of stuff. And I think that makes the character more interesting. I also think in terms of the environments, they just feel more alive. Like this truly does feel like a world that has been completely destroyed. And I've seen lots of clips of the remake before I played it, but playing it is a whole other feeling entirely. You're just walking through the streets and it's just got, it's just visually stunning to look at and it feels very different than playing the original version. Like, I'm just looking around and I just think, I don't know that video games can get better than this. Like, story-wise, absolutely, I know that as a fact, but just looking at what they're capable of here, I don't know how they can be improved upon. Like, I think this is the apex of gaming. There's nowhere left to go from here. And I'm pretty certain that they expanded upon certain areas, so you could explore some more rooms, and they definitely added some details on the walls to make each place feel more alive, so... If you spend your time and look around in each room, it's more than worth it. 
Now, I have heard that some people have complained that the lighting isn't as good, that they liked the nice warm lighting from the original, and I still think that's absolutely present here. In fact, I'd say it's more present in this version. So I love that, but I also love how the lighting in general is better. Like, there are some moments where I wasn't able to see the best in the original, but here I can actually make my way through certain areas easier because I can see what's ahead of me. Like, especially that scene where you're in the two towers that are leaning up against each other and you're going down back to, like, towards the underground tunnels or whatever, you can actually see you, your way as you make your way down. So I really love that. And I actually think this game also has way more atmospheres than it did originally. You know, like I said, the two towers... When you see them in the background and you've got, you know, the fog, the rain, it just reminds me of the second game when you're making your way to the Ferris wheel and it's just oozing in atmosphere. And I feel like you get a bit more of that here. So that definitely enhances this game. I also thought that some of the gameplay was a lot more brutal than it was originally. Like, beating people to death with bricks, I don't remember it ever being this hardcore. And I've heard some people complain that there's no pruning, there's no dodging, but I still think the gameplay is perfect, it's excellent. I'm able to use my weapons in a much more effective manner, I'm able to beat up people a lot better, so I loved all of that. And I actually noticed, I thought this game was way harder than it was originally. Like, I've played it on hard on the remaster, and I still got through it pretty easily. But I think I died more times in this one playthrough than I ever have in the game in all the many times I've played it. Like, there are some moments, like, uh, when you're outside the church with Bill, where I died a whole bunch. And before, I don't think I ever died before. Fighting Blodos is a lot more difficult. And in Left Behind, that one section at the very end was excruciatingly hard. So I love that. So, yes, like I said, when you see the clips and all that, you're like, okay, this looks nice. But playing it, you get a different feeling altogether. I think the visuals are absolutely incredible. The gameplay is more fun than it's ever been. And it's just got so much atmosphere. And it's just a huge improvement in every way. When you think a perfect game can't get perfect, though, they find a way. But that said, I do have a few negatives. I have played Last of Us plenty of times, and it's never glitched for me before. And playing it this time, I understand that it's a bigger game. It did glitch a few times, unfortunately. It wasn't a consistent thing. It didn't ruin me playing it. But I counted about four times where I punched someone, and then all of a sudden my character would freeze, and then I just disappear into like this endless void. And that happened to me a few times, so that was a tad bit annoying, but they can definitely patch that up, and I'm certain they will, and I hope they do. It's not like days gone while I was playing it, and the glitching actually got in the way of me playing it time and time again. I also wish, like, you break all the glass, and I wish they maybe put a bit more stuff in vending machines, or behind counters, behind glass... Because they do that in the second game, and I would have liked that heal, well, it does make it feel a tad bit more lived in. But my big issue with this remake is when, you, when you're playing the same story that you already know and love, there are certain things that, changes that can enhance it, and certain changes that can make it not as effective as it is in the original. And the big example of that heal is one of my favorite scenes in the entire game is when Joel, Ellie, Sam, and Henry uh, just got past the gate, the vehicle's behind them, Joel gets Sam and Henry up to the truck, and then Ellie goes, but the ladder falls down, and Sam and Henry are just like, uh, I'm sorry, and they leave them, and Ellie jumps down, and she's like, we stick together. And I thought the version in this game was, wasn't as good as it was in the other one, mainly because of the sound. Before, you got the sound of the vehicle going up against the gate, backing up, going up against the gate, and the motor was very loud. And here, it just felt a bit too quiet. And I think it does change the way you view the scene, because before, you're like, 
you feel the pressure, you understand why they're making the drastic choices they are, well here it feels a bit calmer, it doesn't feel as urgent. So that was one disappointment I had. But look, this is one of my favorite games ever, right behind the second game. I think it's an absolute masterpiece. I love this story. I love these characters. And even though I got a few minor issues, it still can't change just how much I love this. It is just perfection. Playing it is just so much fun to play. And the story is so immersive and emotional. And the environments are brought to life even better here with so much atmosphere. It's visually stunning to look at. Like I said, this is the apex of gaming. There's nowhere else to go from here. Nowhere. I'm just mind blown by what Naughty Dog has done here. So I definitely recommend you go out and spend the 90 bucks. I live in Canada that I spent to buy this game. If you don't have a PS5, go out and Buy it and play this game. That's what I did and I don't regret it. If you've already made up your mind, then you've already made up your mind. But as a huge fan of this game, I was majorly impressed. I'm going to go ahead and give The Last of Us Part 1 an incredibly well 10 out of 10. Okay, have you played The Last of Us Part 1? Do you agree with me? Do you think it was worth the money? Do you like all the changes? What was your favorite new part about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.